start. Okay, so we're going to try another game now, because I'm going to be playing that other one in uh, co-op, I think, with some of my friends. Uh, right, so now let's see what this Defend the Root game is all about. Um, would you like to play a quick tutorial first? You'll learn everything you need to do battle, sure. This is the Rook. Defend it at all costs. If it's destroyed, it's game over. Okay, we got a goblin. Sure. Moving units. To move to an available blue tile. Hmm? Ah, left click. Okay. Wait. And turn. My turn. A wave of enemies is incoming, Magister. Your turn. Alright, these guys are overpowered, obviously. This thing always attacks. Upgrade a hero. Battle focus. If the warrior attacked uh, an enemy last turn, gain power. Gain power. Teamwork. No, it's not gonna happen. Or maybe. Maybe it is. New wave incoming. Do I just, like, wait or what? Oh, well, that was quick. But it's not like we can attack, so... Ah, so far so good. So twist. Killing an enemy t makes them explode. If the warrior takes out the damage in temporary armor, oh, that's amazing. Towers can be placed on block tiles during your turn. They will automatically attack at the start of your turn, and if destroyed, will be unavailable for the rest of that battle. Um. Okay, imagine I put that one over there. Which tower target in priority? Okay. Um, no, I like that priority. And that's how we take out that guy. Oh, he did attack the tower, but why would he do that? Upgrade a hero. Retaliation. When hit by an enemy in your attack range, attack it back. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Enemies generally prioritize the closest target. Keep in mind some may exhibit different behaviors. Okay. Right, so what if I just stand here? What's what's gonna happen? They just move to a, an extra tile. Okay. Contraptions are tools that help control the flow of the battlefield. Unlike towers, these are placed from regular movement tiles. Um... Oh. At the end of your turn, taunts enemies in a two-tile radius. Attacks of enemies in range at the start of your turn. Arcane Tower. Breeze Trap. Do these things have friendly fire, though? They don't. Wait, I can move it? No, I can't. Uh... You have units that have not been moved. Really? Ah, uh, okay.
Oh, well, that was fast. Uh, the warrior heals for two. Just plus five power against any of the missing health. That's good. Victory! And we get some gold, and there's tree. When enemies are defeated by your heroes, they gain experience points. These points can be spent on improvements. Empowered, painful experience. Adjacent heroes take power. Sure. How about you get more power? Gold is gained. Wait, is it like separate for each character or how does this. Gold is gained as you defeat your enemies. Okay. <sighs> how much gold do I have anyway? I don't see any indication. Where. where where's. Huh? What is this? Rook, Arcane, Cannon, Restrap, Barricade. Mostly these are upgraded south, so... Some upgrade power, but it will take me a while. So is this tutorial, or am I actually- Spells from your hotbar can be cast on units. Each spell has a limited number of charges. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. Barricade. And now I sort of cannot move through my own barricade, but... Nobody saw that happen. Goodness. If the rogue does not move on a turn... Oh, that's pretty cool. Mighty blows. Give a unit plus five temporary power. Yeah, but I'm doing pretty f fine so far, but okay, if you want me to. New wave incoming. Just come already. Okay, where do we start? That 30 damage guy is pretty strong. The orc boss. 12 damage, 0 damage. Wait, how far can he move? So if I technically stand here, I cannot hit him. Okay. If I stand here, I can hit this guy. Ah, sure, why not? Alright, units that have not moved. Let's try something like this. That was a pretty heavy blow. Now, let's wait. Right, my knight should be able to, well, do something, right? I also wonder if he's gonna- ah, but wait, we, we won. 
Boom. Took him out personally. Well played. Are you certain this is the right place? Damn. Worry not, your grace. The rook follows my commands to the letter. You should be quite aware of that by now. Of course. I did not mean to doubt your capabilities. They are nothing short of legendary. Okay, sure. Ah. Then I trust you will have no issues with paying a suitable price for my services. A single barrel of gems should be enough. I thought that such mundane commerce was beneath you. I bowed my head into the mud and begged for your help. Is that not enough to show my appreciation? Ah. That payment is not for my benefit, but yours. So that you understand the value of my gesture. I appreciated your humility, but that alone is not enough. Saving a kingdom will always require sacrifices. Be happy that yours is paid in gold rather than blood. You were right. Clever of them to sneak through the northern plains while your forces are occupied in the mountains. Too clever. I wonder if those pieces are enough. Do not doubt these legends, your grace. Their names might have faded from history, but their power is very much alive within my tokens. You should leave now. Let me send you back. I prefer to work alone. Are you an experienced tactics player who prefers a challenge? Well, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Unit loadout upgrades. That is a lot of stuff, and I have one gemstone. Unlock a common upgrade for the warrior, rogue, and sorcerer. Unlock the hero's banner, an alternate to the barricade. Unlock two additional spell packs to choose from. Alright, upgrade heroes, I guess. Unit loadout. Well, I'm a defender of the party. Oh. Cute. We have, like... Cannon tower, mortar tower. Alright, spell loadout. Your spells for this run. Oh, wow. Wait, if I die, does this mean I have to restart everything? Like, is this a roguelite? What is this? I kinda... Or is this just like a normal... Like a... Like a single progression thing? Uh, one sec, I gotta, I gotta do something in the background. The mountains. Azaz the Demon Lord. Grows in power the longer he remains in battle. Disorganized and experienced. Sure. Recruited a horde of orcs, goblins, and their wolves to launch an assault. Vanquish the horde. Sure, let's go. Battle. How long is this gonna take? I recognize the floating castle, Magister. To what do I owe this reunion? Squashing your pitiful invasion sounded like a respectable use of my powers, Azaz. Tell me, what are you after now? Gems, my feeble conjurer. The kingdom is ripe with gemstones and I will claim their power. Typical. That will not allow that, of course. Letting you pass would sully my reputation. You should know by now, I am unending. You will learn to fear me, Magister. I will force your eyes open. Mm, okay. Let's just sort of wait, I guess. Uh, do I do I have like any temporal limitations? Do I have to like fight faster or doesn't look like I have to. Right, hit that guy for 10. 
Kill that guy. So far, so good. Rip down! <laughs> right. Um, the first time the rogue is attacked in a turn, it was a melee range. They move back to the two tiles. If the sorcerer destroys an enemy, consistent casting. This could be extremely helpful. On paper, at least. I I feel like we're doing just fine, like... Uh, goblins, they're pushing at the back. La la la. Just wait, I guess. This should save me up some time. Picking a fight you can't possibly win. Well, come closer, I guess, so... So I can... Take a better look at you guys. Wait, what? That's weird. I, I, I thought they... Hmm... I should have used this thing. Probably. Alright, so far so good. Gains plus two temporary armor whenever an enemy hits. The first time the rogue takes damage, they gain temporary armor. Plus five power in attacking an armored. Oh, I like this. Do I get these towers for every per battle, right? Yeah. All right then. Give all of your heroes plus ten temporary armor. Interdimensional thief. What makes you special, dear thief? Oh no, that that is this is not what I what I hope to achieve here. Whoop de doom. You sure you want to enter turn? Kinda of do. Oh, that guy is ranged. Okay. I should keep that in mind. What the hell? He just took out the tower. The uh, hell? Yeah, what about the thief lady? Like, what, what's the... what's the gimmick here? Huh? It just disappeared. Uh, do I have to, like, rush it down? Plus one power for every four health. Street fighter. Okay... I'm gonna retreat. Ah, oh, these guys are armored. They actually have a lot of armor. Like, a lot of it.
Hey, don't you dare attack my towers. We probably should use this crystal to tank things, right? Hmm, that's more like it. Hmm. Can my sorcerers, like, deal any damage? Yeah. What about you, Rogue? Right, so the barricade you baited them now. Which is totally fine. Hmm. Makes you wonder. How do we do next? <laughs> uh, the how do we do next? Uh, because I'm sort of stuck here. They're still taunted, which is crazy, actually. Yeah, I keep taking them out. Alright, placing those barricades has been... ...extremely efficient. But I cannot go through here, and I don't think I want to move all the way around. So, yeah. Wait, their armor gets restored every- every fucking- Really? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Alright, maybe I should have done it without those barricades. Redirection. If you have armor remaining, damage to adjacent heroes is redirected to the warrior. End of turn, the sorceress gains full temporary armor. Restore 5 health. Wait, what do you mean like... Huh? Is this like an ability? Or is this just going to restore his HP once? If you have no ar armor uh, damage to chase. Um, let's check this. Yeah, we did just heal him. Oh god, this is useless. These perks do persist, right? Let's come already. Oh god. That's a lot of come. One must say, maybe even too much come. Also, that big ass sword is pretty big ass. If she moves there, she's like dead. Absolutely no fucking way she survives. This is good. Take out that guy. Hit him harder. Uh... Okay, she's gonna get attacked. whoop de doo That's okay. Wait, what? 
Uh, wait, what? Attack him. Wh what's your... What's your problem? I, I don't get it. Attack him, come on. You cannot attack in melee, or what? What is it? Oh, fuck me. I'll have to use up all of my power up for this. Deal 8 damage in a 1 damage radius to an enemy. Is this gonna hit the lady too? No, okay. Blood mess when the rogue kills an enemy. When a mid tier spell is cast, standing next to a barricade gives the warrior plus one range. When the rogue kills an enemy, they gain stealth. That's pretty useful. All right, there he goes. Azaz the Demon Lord. Oh my god, am I gonna lose this? Fuck. Do these, like, persist? Do these spells recharge? Or not? Oh, I fucked up. Uh, wait, 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 I can cancel. But if I cancel... But she, he can ta tank it, that's for sure. Got him. I will always return, Feeble Chondra. Marked. When the rogue attacks an enemy, cannon towers attack it as well. What the fuck? Plus two move, plus front range, and agile. Can move through all units and block tiles. Increase damage radius by one. Oh, wow. Ah. Uh... I like phasing, though. Yay, we've done it. These three, why do they feel so familiar? You may have encountered them when they were still alive, another place and time, which reminds me. You don't belong here, do you, Azaz? Goodbye, dollar demon. Coward, you should have at least killed me with your own hands, which is exactly what I did. I killed you with a spell, my own spell. The Icelands, the desert, the volcanic peak. Wait, so... How does this work? Ratha. Ratha is known for his evasive tactics while boasting heavy range artillery from his ship Icebreaker. R is this a hero? Summon three random cannons that teleport to another. Ah, oh, wait, that's the enemy, right? The queen desires an end to the conflict between the Golden Army and the invading northern tribes. Put an end to this war. Level up. Plus three power. Jason heroes gain shit. Attacks ignore armor. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, first loot upgrade each battle is guaranteed to be rare. Plus two armor. Plus two power. Ah. Uh, nah, I I think we should just go for power, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. Looking good. Uh, back to shop. These are the same, right? Oh no, they're not. Root gains plus one range. 
Gains an aura that gives allies in a four tile radius plus three temporary range at the end of your of the your turn. <laughs> of the your turn. Uh, you can place uh, one more uncane tower. Tower. Ah. More HP. More HP. Barricade. I actually enjoyed using barricades, but. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy. But it's going to take me so much time to reach that part. Arcane Tower. Rook. Incremental upgrade. Come on. Oh. Oh wait, we fight them. We fight him again. Majesty, there's another threat. The northern tribes have marched into our lands, no doubt to take advantage of our casualties. Uh, that is most peculiar. The tribes have kept to themselves for almost a hundred years. Why attack now? Perhaps they too see an opportunity to acquire our gems. I'm sorry to ask for this, but it appears I will require your services a little while longer. Isn't this something? Dwarves and elves fighting. Of an assassin. Wait, what? His HP is not... Oh my god, they do not heal. They do not heal? Are you kidding me? They do not heal. Oh, wow. Oh, technically we can do this. We do get to use all of these spells and whatnot, which is extremely efficient. Yeah. When a low tier spell is cast, the sorceress gains almond power. When an adjacent enemy is destroyed. Adjacent enemy. Come on, just do the thing. Alright. Where do we even start with this? Hmm. That one sniper. I don't like the name of that. It also has so much HP. Hmm. This should work. Good, we took out the enemy, so that's pretty good. Units that have not been moved yet. Are you sure you wish to end your turn? Ah, right, the knight. The knight is young. Mm. I'm not sure, move like this. Wait, these guys, they disappear? Huh. Interesting. Okay, um... Definitely not reaching that guy right now. But I can take out this guy. 
Thinking about this, there's much I'd have to like to ask. Right. Um. So far, so good, I guess. Goodness. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Restore 7 health. Uh, the rogue gains plus 2 power for each arm trap. Whenever the sorceress attacks an enemy, cast chain like what the fuck? Uh, why do I feel like this is crazy? That's not a boss wave, even. Which is... It's funny. Wait, what? There's more. Hmm... What the hell is this guy? Giant Smasher Elite. 56 HP! What the fuck is that? Um... Yeah, but it's still not gonna be enough. And he hits for 15. I think we should just do something like... Like this. Cause he he's gonna head straight for the thing, right? Hopefully. Wait, he's not fro- What? He is not frozen. What the hell? Yeah, well. We do have to take him out, so... Fucking sniper. Alright, she should make a... Quick work out of him. This thing cannot attack me, so... But there's that, yeah. That's totally fine, cause... Oh, it ran away. Oh, fuck. But at least my tower is gonna be alive now, so... That's what matters. Footwork. The rogue gains temporary armor. For every square they move. The first time kills three enemies, deal 20 damage. What the fuck? The fuck? To all enemies? <gasps> what the fuck? This could be, like, in certain scenarios, this could be unreal. Like... The fuck? All we need her to do is like... Damn. Um... This is crazy. I wonder what comes this time around. 41. Fuck me. What is wrong with you people? That range is so crazy. There you go. 20 damage for everyone. Mm. Too bad I cannot reach that fucking sniper guy. No, attack the sniper. Ah. Oh. Foolish. So foolish. My god, she murders things. Yeah. 
Restore health, uh, gain power. Gain power. He has a lot of crazy perks now. But I uh, suppose that's pretty much it. My turn. This is the last wave, right? Or not? Which one is the last wave? No, it's not. Oh god, there's more. There is more. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. Fuck me. So many. So many. <laughs> Imbued champion. Ah. Alright, we should take out this guy now. Elven mage. Two to four damage. X. Boulder toss, zap, stone plate. Now we're fine. Or maybe we're not. Okay, this is good. Uh... I think it's worth it. Wait, what? Wait, why isn't he- why isn't he dead, like... Sooner. And why is the mage dead all of a sudden? Restore 14 health. Gain temporary armor and temporary power. Whenever chain lightning occurs at King Towers. The oh, fuck? But, like, I think we gotta heal him. Okay, um. Boss spawning point. Okay, so let's move. Right there, because we need to deal with that fucker. A hundred and sixty HP. And he spawns all these cannons. And they shoot in a straight line. Or not. Wait, what? Destroyer bombardment. Uh, can somebody tell me what the fuck is going on here? This guy doesn't deal any damage, though. Uh, that's odd. Wait, how am I supposed to damage him, then? If he's just gonna run around and, like... Maybe sending Rogue after him is the best shot, actually. Sort of. Destroyer cannon. Ah, so they appear and then they disappear. Uh-huh. This explains a lot, actually. Two damage. Hmm. I gotta move my rogue that way. Slowly. Yeah, sure, he can shoot. Like, this thing shoots in a straight line, right? So it's just like, nobody gives a shit about that. Uh 
Hmm. Um. Yeah, we're doing it. The cannons don't get any stronger, so just just stick to your thing and. I think we're gonna sandwich him at this point. Hmm, hello? More destroyer cannon. Hit the guy, smack the guy. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Well, he's dead, so... I don't know, if you want to, you can play around with these cannons. That makes you feel better. I see the gimmick, though. And why it would work. Take the hit. The first time another he allied hero will take health damage. Move the warrior as close as possible and prevent it instead. Uh, when the rogue kills an enemy, it drops a temporary trap. The trap deals three damage when triggered. Destroyed. Once per battle, if an allied hero, hero is killed, she gains power, radius, and range. Resets each battle. Mm, once per battle. Gains power, damage, radius, and range. And the rogue kills an enemy. I like the leftover surprise, though I think it's extremely situational. And I like bitter revenge a lot more. I am betting a lot on this sorceress. It is regrettable that it has come to this, but savagery must not be tolerated. The northern tribes will hopefully seize their advance and disband. Those men and women fought bravely, yet desperately. I hope they can return home and think on peace. I will command my soldiers to escort the Northerers back to their home. You did well this day, Magister. Mushroom Glade. The Queen urges that the Glade is a threat to the Kingdom. She tells a creeping spread uh, that cannot speak. Speak no reason. It will lead to yet another ongoing war. Fungal Rook. At the start of your turn, attack nine tiles in a square, alternating each round between adjacent and diagonal areas. They summon four sporlings randomly in the er alternative areas. Takes up more than one tile. Cannot move or be moved. Right. Mindless fungi, uh, fungi are prone to damaging each other. Right. Um... Level up. I got 157. At the end of your turn, give adjacent heroes temporary armor. Once per turn, if the rogue attacks an enemy and it survives, they may attack again. Oh my god. Uh, minus one range? What? The sorceress's attacks hit all enemies in range. What? Wait, what? <laughs> this is crazy. Your, your attacks ignore armor, uh, gain range after you move. Mm. This is crazy. At the start of your turn, if there are no contraptions or heroes in a tile radius, gain 6 power. Lone Tower. Earth Siphon. Gain armor each wave until the end of battle. Um... The first loot upgrade. More armor plus range. Damage radius. Well, we... Like, either way, we don't have enough to just... Even slower. Fucking hell. No, I can't afford this. <laughs> He's already so fucking slow. Like, plus three armor would be pretty good, though. But he's so fucking slow. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's do it. 
Um, more armor. Ignore armor. If there are no contraptions or heroes, gain plus six temporary power. Extremely situation, I think it's gonna work. Gain armor. Plus two armor. First loot upgrade. At the end of your turn, if there are no contraptions, gain more armor. Even more armor. What? Why would I ever... Alright, that's, 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 that's pretty good. That's like, ridiculously good. Shop, um... RS plus two armor... Attacks removal armor from the target before damage. Um... Freeze trap. Gain armor... Damage... Hmm... Alright, uh... Let's do this. Upgrade this. More health than this. You can one more arcane tower. Emerald tower. This is good, I guess. Start battle. Battle three. What is this? Why are the mushroom kin leaving their caverns and raising arms? Uh, the mycelium spreads all across these lands. They can sense its goings better than anyone else. Disgusting. Notice the way they respond to us. Have they truly turned hostile to civilization? Like pulling weeds, Majesty. We must do what we can for the garden to thrive. These aren't weeds, Your Grace. And saying that, the glade cannot be left to threaten the people. Fourteen armor. A talking vegetable. Fourteen armor is like... <laughs> but he can move only... Oh my god. So fucking slow, but so fucking strong. Oh wow, these these shrooms are pretty fast, actually. Crazy fast. They can move ah. Uh Redonkulous distances. Can I hit like no I can't? Oh well. I think we're doing we're doing fine. Like put the fucking arcane tower here and like uh an emerald tower here maybe or maybe here. Which spot do I like more though? Because, like, if technically we can move Rook over here, say, and just, like, block it with barricades, and then, like, drop one of these, it's gonna deal so much damage. So much damage. But I have no idea where the boss is gonna spawn, so that's another big thing that I have to keep in mind constantly. Anyway, uh, can you shoot this guy? Thank you. Yeah, you're not- you're not breaking through, my darling. Wait, what? They- They disappear after attack? Balance stance. If you have armor, deal 5 damage back to attackers. If you have no armor, gain plus 4 power. Wow. The rogue has plus 5 power against enemies that are missing health. The sorceress gains- Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me, these are so good. If you have armor, deal plus five damage back to attack. If no armor, gain plus four power. The rogue has power against enemies that are missing. Even more. <laughs> Even more power. This guy is destroying things. Whenever an enemy is destroyed within their attack range. Fuck, these are all pretty good. Like... 
really good, all of them. I don't think my rogue alone can deal with all of this. But hey. Never know with these things. Twenty three, young kin, four lang. So these things, they just like what? They just charge me and then just fucking murder me. Is this how it works, and then they disappear into the nothingness. I'm just trying to understand what exactly is is going on here. Because like if I don't I, if I don't even have to wait, is she gonna move or not? I I don't understand. Is she moving? I think she is moving. Yeah. I'm like here, yeah. And uh Boulder Toss. Emerald Tower. Okay, let's I think it's time for a barrel. Let's do what I call a barrel move. Um... Hmm, who else can move? Ah, this guy. Right, so if we don't kill him though, we don't get any experience out of this encounter. Which is kind of crazy. Hit the guy. Smack the shroom. Well, at least this thing does not disappear, so... Alright, Jarring Thrust. Standing next to a barricade gives the warrior range. What? The rogue at attacks... Oh my god. <laughs> at the end of turn, if the sorceress is next to the warrior, gain plus four temporary armor. If they are next to the rogue... Uh... Definitely this. Absolutely no way I'm picking anything else. That is like crazy. Wait... Here, let's wait. Move slightly backwards and see how this goes. More enemies incoming. Hmm, looking good. Bungo Demolisher. Right, so where do we even start with this thing? Fungal Demolisher. I don't like the name of that. Ah, wait, I cast this. And they're all dead. Crazy. Barrel Master. Three armor for each barricade in play. The rogue gains temporary armor every square they move. If the sorceress destroys an enemy, they gain power in. Damn. Uh... Fuck. These are all pretty good. Especially, like, Barrel Master in, in certain scenarios can be fucking broken, but I'm still gonna go with consistent casting. Alright, well, technically we just stand here and sort of wait, I guess. Um... Do I need to move closer? Should I? Alright, oh my goodness. Eldest Kin. The fuck is that? Um... 11 damage. Uh... What is that 3 thing? Well, technically we can just go for it, I guess. This guy can, like... Fight the, the Eldest dude for, for like, for all eternity. 
No, really, though, he can. <laughs> How far can these move? They're not too fast, which is, uh, great father. What the fuck is that? Good, that was some pretty crazy damage. Right, this guy is stealthed now, so... Do whatever you like. Wait, is it gonna move if I... Yeah, it is. No, I don't want it to move. Definitely don't want... Don't want it to move. I still want to preserve my uh, towers somehow, or at least try to. Damn. Okay, they're slowly taking out my thing, but that's totally fine, because... We can hit the big, old, uh, great, uh, grandfather and, and whatnot. Two damage. 26. Kill it. The fuck just happened? Wait, what? The fuck just happened? Um, what? Oh my god, what the fuck? Whenever an ally dies, game plus one move. Oh my god, I should have killed him first. Oh my god. Ah, uh, this is this is a big issue. Fuck, I took 10, ten damage as rogue. A character that shouldn't take damage. Right, we've managed to... Okay, this is disaster. Like, if this guy hits us... <laughs> it's game over. This guy, We cannot allow him to hit us. Yeah, well... Yeah, my towers are going down, that's for sure. Well, at least we now they're, know their gimmicks, so... There's that. I should have put the trap. I'm such an idiot. Ah, <laughs> oh, what have I done? What have I done? This is so bad. Alright, you have to deal the- oh wait, but she's gonna die. Oh my god. I cannot afford to lose the sorceress. Can I remove the tower? Like, delete it? Fuck. I cannot believe I have to do this. Fuck you. Heavy weight, if you have 10 or more armor, gain plus 4 power. Restore 5 health. Um, restore nine health, yeah. 
we cannot afford to lose the sorceress, that's for sure. I hear they have a strong right hook. Uh, well, good for them. Good for them. Let's try and not make the same mistake twice. Because I am out of my stopping power. Great Mother Elite. What the fuck does she do? At the end of your turn, restore 5 health to all allies and summon 2 spawnlings. What the fuck? Immune to stones, traps, and movement reduction. Which means we technically need to just fucking murder her. Spore shooter. Prioritize is moving to an empty block tile. Once there, it will gain increased range but lose all movement. Why do I have a bad feeling about that unit? God damn it. Well, technically I can kill it. Uh, okay, let's kill it. Wait, remind me, what's your specialty? Ah, oh, these fucks also explode. Why do you have to explode, huh? Fuck. Wait, why didn't you move closer so... You get the buff! Oh my god, you are... The stupidest motherfucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Ah. Oh. Now I'm gonna suffer because of this. I guess it's better than nothing. Why didn't it attack the... Ugh. How convenient. Yeah, we cannot hit it because it's gonna murder us. These guys are like anti-rogue, I swear. I cannot afford to lose my rogue though. Absolutely cannot afford it. Fuck. All right, we got it. Which one of you wants the kill? Revenge Strike. If the warrior takes cell damage, they uh, launch heal. Small heal. Launch heal. Where is the enemy gonna uh, spawn? That's the, the only thing that matters right now. Where's the big spore, motherfucker? 
Okay, got him. Just position yourself as close as you can. You are so dead now. I've been preparing this just for you. 202 uh, HP. And then, and then, like, something just appeared. Immune to player damage. Wait, what? Spawn the Fungo Rook in the middle nine tiles and remove this unit. Wait, what? I thought... What do you mean immune to player damage? Uh... What? Wait, I thought... Ascension level 1. Unlocks three towers. Experience mode. What? Wait, what? Shouldn't I, like... What? Huh? Middle nine tiles and remove this unit. What? Should I move away? I, I don't get it. Immune to player damage. The fuck? Oh my god! Um... Can I- I cannot see anything. Oh, I don't like how they did it. I absolutely don't like how they did it. Immune to stone straps and movement reduction. Uh, defeating all bosses causes all minions to retreat. And guarantees you epic upgrades before you move on to the next area. At the start of your turn, attack 9 tiles in a square, alternating each round between adjacent and diagonal areas. Uh, then summon 4 spawnlings randomly in the alternative areas. Wait, what? Wait, I don't get it. How, what do you mean, like, randomly? Alternating each round, do I at least get like an indication of which one is gonna attack? I'm sorry, I don't understand what the fuck is going on right now, honestly. Wait, can she attack it? She can't. What if she... What if she just doesn't stand here, but instead like... I cannot... Wait, what? If she moves, she cannot attack? Wait, she can. Okay. Blended. Um... Let's not stand in the way of progress, right? For how much damage, by the way, it attacks? 14? Because if it's only 14 damage, then whatever, I guess. He's gonna be smacking it like crazy. 143. I don't know, I really want to hit it with Rogue, but if he takes 14 damage, I'm gonna hate this. So he just killed the tower, right? No, he didn't. He didn't kill the tower. Huh. Interesting. Yes. I hate the way they did it, by the way. Like, you can barely see anything. And they don't indicate, like, what exactly is it gonna attack next turn. Yeah, those spores are gonna hit me pretty hard. Unless I do something about it. Oh my god, what?! <laughs> what?! This thing gets obliterated by AoE attacks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but like, we cannot do afford to. Fuck. I wish I could, though. But I cannot. Like, if we keep him here, uh, the tower is gonna die to one of these, and then the other one's gonna hit me regardless. If I move him here, the shroom's gonna hit me, so... Uh, it's a... it's not a pleasant position to be in. 
What? Wait, what? Wait, you told me... Oh my god, are you telling me... This is what it means, the diagonal part? I should have just fucking... Oh my god, I should have just attacked it. We're gonna lose now because of my indecisiveness. This is unreal. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Hit it, it doesn't matter. Just fucking hit it. We were happy in the glade. Oh my god, look at my HP. Ah, oh, I misunderstood what it does. Increase damage radius by one. The rogue gains plus two damage radius if they have two or more enemies adjacent. Once per battle, when the sorceress takes health damage, cast your high tier spell for free. Increase damage radius by one. Damn. Stab everyone. Victory! Um, Majesty, you cannot be so foolish as to support the Golden Queen in her conquest. How is she controlling you? Staff spouting nonsense. You speak of her conquest, yet what of yours? You are the ones who spread into occupied lands. Ah, then you were deceived, O oh noble mage. We do not spread. You take from us our body. Our soil will be stained in gold, and the gems beneath us will be hers. Gems? She has plenty of gems of her own. Why would... Why wouldn't she? No. A queen with the gems to achieve anything she desires. A dangerous burning light. Oh, will wither. Oh, well. My rook, my hero is my power. Used to butcher. The queen, which uh, dealt our end. We ask you, with your power, stop her. That traitorous scum. She dares to insult me like this? My noble magic used for evil D ends. I will make her pay. The queen shall fail. Oh, uh, fall, fall. Oh my god, what am I? Blah. Golden Army Commander. Disciplined in their devotion to the Queen, they are given the finest utilities of warfare. True army. Arrow Shower. First triggered once the boss reaches 175 health. At the end of enemy, each enemy round, calls down an arrow shower. Allies caught within it are dealt damage equal to the power of the boss. Right. Overwhelming as an army, but a lone soldier can often be vulnerable. Okay. Level up. Okay, so one of you guys, give adjacent heroes temporary armor equal to half of your armor. The first loot upgrade each battle is guaranteed to be rare. Plus two armor. Gain more radius. Hit all enemies in range. This is crazy. Once per turn of the rogue attacks an enemy and it survives, they may attack again. Like, these two are absolutely ridiculous. Like, absolutely ridiculous. But, th wait, we don't have enough, though. Like, it's either we get this one, right? Oh, wait, we don't have enough for any of these. We are one experience, literally one experience point short. Are you shitting me? Hmm. But this only works for the adjacent heroes. Like, it's not that important if it's adjacent. I don't know. The first loot upgrade each battle is guaranteed to be a rare. Hmm. I don't know, two armor is like fucking pointless. Um more range, more radius. Plus one range. 
Well, in certain scenarios, it can be extremely helpful. Defeat more enemies to gain more experience. At the end of your turn, give adjacent heroes temporary armor. Uh, the start of your turn if there are no contraptions or heroes in a three-tile radius. Let's try this one out. Why the hell not? The queen has betrayed you. Shop. Good for the queen, I suppose. Uh... Yeah, we get, we get a lot of extra towers. Which is wonderful. Um, Breeze Trap. If the cannon tower destroys an enemy last turn and gains the three temporary damage radius. Emerald Tower. No, I don't like this. Wish I could heal my heroes or something. Like, I would have gladly paid for that. Uh Majesty, the apologies were getting tiresome. I'm glad to be free of the ruse. You have outlived your usefulness to me. I will have your head for this. My heroes will gladly strike you down for disgracing their legacy. Please, with the gems, my forces are more powerful than you could possibly imagine. It wouldn't be the first time I have brought down a kingdom. They will see reason or they will fa fall with you, your grace. Yeah, my HP is like... <laughs> uh, I don't think we're gonna win this. I really don't think we're gonna win this. Rocket Foot Archer. They hit for 14, by the way. 14. Fuck me. 14 damage. They will literally one shot my rogue if I do this. 13, 7. This isn't good. This is really, really not good. Do I really have to use barricade already? That's crazy. Ah, so far so good. Hmm. Is there really any point in this? Yeah, I need those towers alive. If there's one thing I know is that I want those towers alive, so... Oh. Now what? Kill that guy. Kill this guy. 
Actually just finish him off, yeah. Lodge heal. Uh, if the rogue does not move on a turn, gain power and more move. Once per round, when the sorceress kills an enemy, refresh one charge of your... No, that's trash. Uh, I think we should heal our tank, dude. Uh, if the rogue does not move... This is pretty good, though. But he almost always moves. Healing... This is why healing is, like, the way to go, I think. All of them come from there. Are you kidding me? Hmm. All right, well. I'm gonna have to guard my sorceress. Uh... Wait, who the hell is this guy? Devout Footman. So these are just crazy stat high units. Nothing extra actually going on here. Just a bunch of units with a bazillion HP. Yeah, but truly they do have bazillion HP. <laughs> <laughs> they really do. Let's try and deal with it using at least like a freeze trap or something like that. Uh, I suppose we can just wait. Just when I... Just when I said, usually he always is on the move, he is not on the move, huh? Isn't that lovely? Um... Yeah, but they'll just kill it. We absolutely cannot afford to lose our sorceress. She kills everything, by the way, right now. That's crazy. Uh... Plus three armor for each barricade in play. Restore HP. Uh, less armor. Chain lightning. Deals full damage. Wait, so... Then jumps to the closest visible target. How... It's usually 5 damage though, right? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, chain lightning. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it attacking? Half their power rounded down. Searing experience. Consistent casting. Magic Penetration, Lone Tower. Um... Let's just heal my rogue, I think. We do need that HP back. Oh my goodness, there they go. There they go. I think we're gonna lose some towers this time around. What the fuck is this? Golden Barrager? It shoots everywhere. Priorities- prioritize contraptions, then heroes, then the Rook. Oh my god. Well, I didn't know that. Fuck you, game. I didn't know there was gonna be something like this in the game. Devout Footman, Rocket Foot Archer. Fifteen damage. Thirteen. Get rid of his armor so the ro so my rogue can. Hmm. Thirteen. 
seven. Ah, I have fucked up big time. Well, who, how could I have, like, guessed, you know, that this is what's gonna happen? 68. Yeah, I, I am willing to. I am willing to go this way. I'm gonna play greedy. I hope it's gonna be only one. If there's gonna be more of these, fuck me. Seriously. I think we need her here, honestly. This is fine. Sort of fine. Twenty-eight, one. Can we afford to do this? I think it's worth it. Or at least I hope so. <sighs> what if they both attack? Not like, do you have a target priority? Attacking at the furthest distance possible can move through all units and block tiles. He hits the tower, thank god. Thank god he hits the tower. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Small heal. The hell? Uh, plus eight armor though, fuck me. Plus eight armor is crazy. That's wave number three. Oh god. It's pretty draining. I already wasted everything, by the way. I can only imagine what kind of crazy shit's gonna go come next. Yeah. Well, I'm ready. Devout Footman. Gold Cannon. Agile Hunter. At the start of the round, takes aim in a straight line. At the end of the round, it shoots all allies, all tiles in the line, then moves. Oh my god. Immune to sun straps and movement reduction. Rocket Foot Archer. Well, I didn't expect this to be the thing. 
now I'm probably gonna... Oh, wait, I'm not gonna lose it. That's... That's... That's a relief. Wait, take out its armor. And then smack... Oh my god, this fucker is gonna survive? My rogue? You gotta be shitting me. Fuck. Okay. I'll kill him. Um... Nineteen zero. Good. Good, good. This is this is bearable. This is this is actually bearable. You're just another cult. Uh, Twenty two. Oh, thank god these towers survived. Without them, I would be fucked. For real. Achilles cut. Enemies hit by the warrior have three... Minus three move this turn. Does not work. Ah, uh, then whatever. The rogue gains plus two power for each arm trap. Um, plus four power next to another allied unit. Yes. That's pretty good. Oh my god, they're all coming from behind. <sighs> yeah. But that's wave number four. Which is good. Because it gives me... Enough time to think about things. A3. Immortal Commander. What the fuck do you do, Commander Shepard? The first time this unit's health reaches zero, it heals back to have a half of... <laughs> Blended. <laughs> Fucking magical, isn't it? Um, 1 HP, 7 HP, 0 HP. I like, I like the option where we bring him down to 0 HP, you know? But that would require me to move in, in ways I'm not fond of. Yeah, that barrel is not surviving, right? Yeah, it is not surviving. Fuck. Oh, this is difficult. Well, we can technically freeze him. And then... Sort of hope that it works. Sort of. And then... Oh my god, look at that rogue. Obliterating things, but no. Rogue needs to wait for the right opportunity to strike, that's for sure. I wonder if we can debate them, though, into chasing after him. I think he has to tank it, though. Sort of. I cannot cancel it, fuck. Okay. This is bearable. 
zero HP, seven HP, zero, zero, zero. Hmm. That was some decent damage. That was some really decent damage. We still have quite a few problems remaining, though. You can tank a little, I hope, right? Good. Okay, this works, right? Goodness, look at that range. Uh, so those guys are going to just keep chasing after him if we leave him like that. Um, right, he resurrects at half HP after this, basically. Yeah, there you go. And it's not a good thing. It's really, really not a good thing. I think we have to sort of retreat, actually. Forty two, thirty six. Ah, uh, fuck. That's not what I expected to happen, actually. He will just keep smashing things if we don't stop him. Fuck. 32. How far can you reach? Pretty far, huh? Seventeen thirty-three. Oh my god, he's gonna survive with one fucking HP. Ah, oh, but wait, we have the spell. Uh, no, he's just gonna resurrect after this, right? Ah. This is not good, is it? Three. It's still not gonna be enough. Ah. Annoying fuck. Wow. Five power when attacking an armored enemy. The sorcerer's gains temporary armor standing next to a block tile. Definitely restore HP. Because I have absolutely no idea what's coming. I'm out of everything. Oh my goodness. A boss will spawn here next turn. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna have to leave him for last. That is if we can afford such luxury. To me, like, we can't, but whatever.
Oh, there's even cannons. <laughs> you have got to be fucking shitting me, right? Activates as a sure summon reinforcements. Oh my god. Immune to stuns traps. What the fuck is this? This is crazy difficult. Oh, someone bloody has to do things, right? Better than nothing. Yeah. And that guy is slowly coming. And I have absolutely no idea what to do about it. Yeah, but she's just gonna stand here. That's not it. Zero seventeen zero. Ah. Uh. Wait. So if Root gets attacked, it just destroys the. Whatever attacked it, right? One, two. Yeah, but I can't. Oh, wait, she can reach from there? Wait, we do need to kill the cannons, too, though. Ideally. Yeah, those cannons are a pain in the ass, but how the fuck are we gonna do this? If she stands there, she's just gonna murder her. Do you get stronger? I just... I'm curious. Activates at 100 health. Activates at 175 health. So, you do not get stronger necessarily, right? And if you attack, it's like one tile, right? Okay, then. Let my boy start the, the fucking massacre. Activates at 175, at 100. Right. Right, right, right. I want to deal with the cannon, though. As much as I would love to hit him for 40 damage, I do think we need to take care of these. Fuck. Alright, I'm moving that way. I will regret it. Aha. Uh -huh. Just don't get hit. So simple, right? <laughs> Things are so simple. Right, stay away from him. And destroy the cannon. I am so glad I fucking maxed out my armor. Otherwise, we'd be dead now. Thirteen. I don't have that many options, do I?
Wait, right? This is gonna hit like this, which means... Uh, does it even matter? Please kill the fucking cannons, I swear. Go in army, we cannot fail, our queen has already ascended. Yeah, sure. Good for her, I guess. Uh, keep smacking him slowly, right? Once he reaches 175 HP, right? He starts to... Uh-huh. Okay. I am so fucking lucky with these numbers, I swear. This is crazy. Okay, we've dealt with the cannons, which is extremely important. Extremely important. Well, technically we can just keep him like this and wait for the rogue to arrive. Or we can keep hitting at him. But if we do that, he's gonna do the AoE thing. Plus, my rogue is kind of low. Yeah, my rogue is super low, but if we're gonna... ...kind of rush him down... ...I doubt there would be, like, a better window of opportunity. Okay, let's end the turn. Then stand over here, wait. And then end another turn. Yeah, and then this is where we strike, right? Turn 49. Let's go. Turn 73. Turn 12. Is he gonna hit the guy, though? Like, I'm kind of worried about that. <laughs> what if he just kills my rogue? He can do that, right? Hypothetically. How does this work? Like, does he get taunted? Like... Immune to stones, traps, and movement reduction. Defeating one bosses causes all minions to retreat. Uh, and guarantees you epic upgrades before you move on to the next area. I think I'm gonna... Fuck, I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. Like, I really wanna, like... What's the point of me waiting then? Wait, what? You just keep smacking. Oh my god, wait! Is this the attack? Oh, fuck you, game! He's not even like. Am I gonna lose him? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose him. I hate this. I fucking hate this. Can I, like, undo? Undo my turn? Please! Please! I didn't even fucking know! Oh. Seriously, fuck this shit. I'm gonna lose now. This is crazy. I am going to lose like this. Oh, I forgot to... Oh my god, I am crumbling. I lost. Because of a single fucking tile! I fucking lost! Hm. 
Maybe we can win an extra turn if he does this. Nah, he just wins the game. And let me guess, this game wants me to redo everything. Literally everything, right? Upgrade heroes. Unlock common, rare, and epic upgrades for the warrior. Unlock the samurai and alternate to the warrior. Heroes banner. Loot courier will now appear in battles. I could have won that one. Fuck me. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I think... I think I've had enough of this game. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, until the next time, I think. Yeah.